Lucas Redwood. How are we doing today, Lucas? I'm great. Good. So you are a young and upcoming drummer. Uh, I'm a fan of yours. Uh, we, you were actually on my show last year when we did Bandol- an episode on Bandology. So you're really involved with the uh, neighborhood and the community. Uh, and you're doing a bunch of other stuff. But tell us what you're into. Uh, tell us how you got started. How did you get started being a drummer? Because I wanted to be a drummer too. So, well, um, so I got started when I was uh, when I was really young. I started when I was around five years old, and my parents um, they rented me a drum kit, and that's how I sort of got started with it all. Was um, my parents renting me a drum kit and just practicing and getting better at playing? So, yeah. All right. So you started when you five, so now did you take music all through school or what did you yeah, do? I did. Yeah, yeah, I took. Uh, in elementary school, then moved on to my high school music program, and then now I'm studying music at Humber College. All right, and you you play drums, but is that the only instrument you play, or you play other instruments as well? Um, I that's my main instrument, but yeah. I'm trying to learn uh, some keyboard and doing some background singing with my band, and trying to learn some other instruments as well. So, does it transition? Like, if you know, I, you probably know how to read music. I don't, but if you know how to play drums. Is it easy to just like learn to play keyboards? Is it like the same notes or something or? No, it's, it's more drums are very rhythmic. And then yeah. so it took me a while to sort of, I had to train myself to learn the aspects of the melodic aspect uh, and the harmonic aspect of, of learning the piano and, and all that. But um, like the theory and everything behind it. But now that I um, have that knowledge, I'm able to uh, apply it to my drums, which is, uh, which is great. Yeah, well, you can never have too much knowledge. Is is this what you're planning on doing for the career? Is this, you want to be a musician in a band or you want to be in a band or you want to be studio or what kind of musician you want to be? I want to do it all, really. I want to be a freelance uh, uh, artist and sort of working with bands, but also, um, yeah, being able to be diverse and getting as much work as possible. Oh well, that you're on a good start now. You're into you're into everything. So now, tell us what you do about with bandology. Um, you, last year, you were kind of I don't know a, a career counselor for them. I guess I don't know what are you doing now with them. Um, so I'm hoping I'm planning on working again with them this summer, and it's sort of um, how it's going to work. Is uh, last summer what I was was the play gig uh, coordinator. Okay. So what that was, bandology's play gig program was. Uh, is a program that helps find community performance opportunities for uh, students in high school and post-secondary. Um, and so I would uh, basically do some research, communicate uh, with the venues and try and book some gigs for people. Um, so that's what I did last summer. Um, this summer, it's going to be a little bit different. What I'm trying to do is um, uh, sort of uh, take the play gig program virtual and I'm going to be doing some uh, live live streaming with artists and sort of connecting and doing similar things to what we're talking about in, in that like just asking them some questions about um, you know how they got started and and all that kind of stuff and just to get some background and then have them perform on on the live stream which will be pretty cool yeah. 